Hey guys, Zero here again with a, another sound coming back at you. Uh, if you've heard Snail's murder sound or his uh, new release, this is kind of a unique sound and I, I wanted to recreate it for you guys. Um, here's the basic layout in Serum if you just want to go ahead and copy this and not watch the rest of the video. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have some kind of Reese bass going into a phaser and a little bit of reverb-ish type shenanigans going on here, followed by a distortion. Um, I actually got this from another video, but it didn't have audio or a uh, commentary on it, so I just wanted to like kind of make this a little bit easier to follow. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you can either just straight up put serum down here and do all of the effects inside your mixer window however if you watch seamless you'll know that doing it in patcher is a lot easier and it also saves a lot of time so we're going to do it in patcher uh, the first thing you want to do is grab a digital effect or a digital wavetable I mean sorry uh, the FFT Animal is probably the best one for this. You could also, you if you have made your own sounds, use like a Reese. I think Virtual Riot has one in here. The Terror Squad one sounds pretty good with it. Um, this is with the Virtual Riot sample pack. You can find this online just by typing it in Google. Uh, it's, I think it's free too. So, yeah, you can find this online. Um, the digital one comes with the serum. I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Uh, after this, uh, we're going to add a second oscillator, and we're going to make it a vowel. Uh, you can use any of these, really. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. The source in this sound, in this case, isn't really all that important. So you can honestly experiment with this, and you'll probably get something like the sound that I played in the beginning. But this is just the closest I could get to it. So uh, the most important part of the sound is LFO1. And we're going to make this at a pretty slow rate. Now you could do his frog bass type bass. Uh, well, not bass, but you know, the sound that he made uh, with a faster LFO. But we're going to do it as slow LFO for that murder sound type bass. And we're going to uh, put the LFO on the wavetable on oscillator 1. Or wavetable 1. I'm not really sure what you call these. Uh, yeah, I guess they're oscillators. Um, I'm going to put it on wavetable 1 and turn it all the way up. And put it on this one. Same thing. On the first oscillator, however, you're going to want to bin minus slash plus it. And you're going to want to start it off at bin minus and have it slowly go back to bin plus. And that's what creates that kind of sound where it sounds like it's vomiting almost which i guess is kind of his whole thing um uh, we're going to turn the lfo to where it kind of slowly rises up and we're going to put a pitch bend down here in the bottom left and we're going to make that plus 12 minus 12. after this you want to make sure it's on mono with a portamento all the way up to eight seconds or if you don't want to do the slide notes you could set it back down and make make some variations with that but for this the, that initial sound he has the portamento way way up he just has it uh, sliding all the way down so that's something you can play with as well um, also another thing I want to mention is if you have the trigger on this sound will sound a bit different uh, if you just have it set to off, it will it will kind of clip after the eight bars. So if that's something you w would want in the sound, that's something you can also mess around with. Um, we're also going to enable a sub, have it set to direct out, and we're going to modulate the level with this LFO so it goes up as the oscillators are changing. And... Uh, basically contracting so as this goes back to bin plus this sub will be going up and that's pretty important in the sound as well so 
After this, you're going to add the hyper slash dimension in Serum. You want to have the voices all set to default. However, the difference in this one is you want to have the rate set pretty low. At least I think I did that on the other one. I'm not really sure, but I think that would be a good idea to do that. Uh, the dimension, not too important. Just have the size set down a little bit. Uh, we're also going to add a distortion. One of the diodes doesn't really matter. Or you could also use a zero square down sample. They all give you the same thing. I'm going to use diode two and just this uh, whole layout with this up to around mid-range with no resonance. I'm also going to put the drive up to about 50% and the mix down a little bit. After this we're going to add a phaser and this is what gives the sound pretty much all of its kind of vomit-ish characteristic because as you know, a phaser manipulates the frequencies in a sound. So we're going to have LFO put on the frequency of the phaser. We're going to have the rate turned way down, the depth turned pretty far down, and the phase turned to about 50 or so degrees. Now, so you want to make sure that the mix is modulated by the LFO or just turned down. For this one, we're going to modulate it, but since you can only modulate a limited number of things with LFO1, we, uh, you might want to not do that. After this, we're going to add a compressor, and we're going to want to put the compressor before the distortion, obviously. We want to set the multiband. You could also do this outside of uh, Serum, but for this one, we're just going to do it inside. We're going to set the gain up to about 3 decibels, the ratio to about 7 ish and threshold to somewhere around there again none of this is really all that important I'm just getting the basics of the sound down the real main sound in this is obtained through a vocoder which we're going to do now so you want to go ahead and pull up vocodex or if you're in Ableton uh, just use the vocoder in Ableton I'm not really sure what it's called but they have one and um, basically all the main settings you can copy from this. What we're going to do in this one is we're going to set the bands to around 20 or 24-ish and the order to about 4. And we're going to manipulate the band distribution so that the middle is higher than the higher frequencies. So there are more bands towards the middle, creating kind of a resonancy type sound. And we're going to give it a curve like that. After this, you want to modulate the bandwidth and do kind of the same thing. Only you want to make sure the low is turned way down. Uh, right around 150 hertz. You can see up here where that's at. And then you want to turn this back up. Put a point there, point there, and maybe turn this a bit up. And just reset these. Oh, maybe you can put that one up a little bit. No, I mean down. And that one up. And at this point, you should have a sound that sounds a little bit like what we're aiming for. Pretty close. Maybe turn this down a little bit. You can kind of hear it. Now, after you have all this done, I actually need to keep checking it. Uh, you know, we don't have to add a phaser. If you want to add a phaser, you can. Uh, I'll just show the settings for this. There they are right there. If you want to add that phaser to it, that's what I did to obtain the, the actual sound. But um, after this, we're going to add Maximus. And that's in Dynamics. Put it right there. And settings for this. I'm not really sure I did too much with it. I think I just made sure all the uh, frequencies are stereoed right. So in Maximus we're going to go ahead and make sure that the low end is merged so that everything is in the middle and the mid is about 50-ish eh, percent separated while the high is completely separated. 
and we're going to add a little bit of compression to the high just a little bit not too much because if you add too much compression to high end it distorts then we're going to add a threshold uh, soft saturation to the master and we're going to add a little bit of compression to the master as well as making a low cut around 40-ish dB. Now after this you want to add an EQ. Uh, this totally depends on if you're making dubstep or future bass type music. Um, for his song it is future bass and he has an actual sub going on underneath it. So we're going to add an EQ to get rid of the sub frequencies. And I have a preset this if you want you can just select type high pass and set it to where I have it it's at 150 Hertz right here and that gets rid of all the sub of the sound now, this is pretty important if you have two subs playing at the same time there will be lots of phase issues so I'm oh, sorry. and my cup just fell <laughs> and I think that's pretty much it uh, the only other thing that you want to add is a reverb and that will help kind of give the sound a bit of depth so we're going to put on large hall and just turn the wet down and maybe turn the stereo separation up a bit so that's pretty much the basic sound now you can manipulate this this isn't exactly what I made over here with this one as you can tell that sounds a little bit different than, say, this. Actually, come to think of it, that one sounds a little bit more like the frog bass than uh, the murder sound. But um, that's the basic idea, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'm going to go ahead and post this project up online for anybody to use. And uh, catch you next time.